the truce hasn't changed everything. Not here at one of the holiest sites in the Islamic faith. We were inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound as once again Israeli soldiers and police clashed with Palestinians. This suspect screamed as he was taken away. And nearby, Israeli forces used tear gas to disperse crowds. There are more stun grenades now in that direction and, and more soldiers, more police arriving. Um, over here, this was meant to be a day of peace. Israeli police said their officers were provoked after Friday prayers and released video which appeared to show a petrol bomb thrown at them. As a ceasefire was declared a few hours earlier, Palestinians came to the same spot in part to say, we've won. But this afternoon, Israel's Prime Minister said the same, calling his Gaza campaign an outstanding success. After all the bombardment, the silence, Gaza at two o'clock this morning, and in Israeli cities like Tel Aviv, no sign of the rocket fire, a ceasefire, but a fragile one. Pressure on Israel from the Americans and on Hamas by the Egyptians appears to have been crucial. I believe the Palestinians and Israelis equally deserve to live safely and securely and to enjoy equal measures of freedom, prosperity and democracy. My administration will continue our quiet, relentless diplomacy toward that end. But in Jerusalem, we were told by many people that this was not being seen as the end of a conflict, but the start of a new process. This is the real victory. That's it. Israel says this is a victory for Israel. For Israel? They are dreaming. Yeah. It's only a dream. They're just saying what it's not true. Neither side can claim victory, and both will surely wonder whether they'll have to fight this conflict again soon. Rohit Katru, News at 10, Jerusalem.